Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video it is my um, football shirt pickups for um, May video. Um, full disclosure, down on numbers for um, this month. Um, I've had um, two shirts that got away. Um, so I've got four shirts to show you today instead of the usual five that I try to aim for. Um, unfortunately I've had um, an Inter Milan shirt that um, I purchased on Vinted that the seller decided not to just send me. So um, that is in the process of being refunded. And I've got a Club Bruges shirt that seems to have disappeared. Um, it has been posted, I've got the tracking number, but there seems to be no update with the tracking number. So possibly that could reappear for my June video. But at the um, at recording of this, um, unfortunately, it appears to have um, have gone missing. However, there are still four shirts to show you. So, without further ado, let's get into them. So, first of all, we're going to go to the Netherlands and Holland. And um, it's a shirt that was shown on um, Jari's channel. Um, well, not this shirt exactly, but um, a shirt of this club. Now, I've managed to find on in England... Um, an FC Den Bosch shirt. Now it is from the 2012-2013 season, so quite an old one. And you can sort of tell that by the sort of flaking of the um, sponsor on the front and on the back. Um, and the loss of the um, Macron sort of logos on the shoulder. So it is a fairly worn shirt, but quite a nice um, shirt. And sometimes they are quite nice with this sort of damage to them to show the sort of um, age and vintageness of it. So it is, um, it's got Shiva as a sponsor, so a quite well-known brand there. The FC Den Bosch um, crest on one side and Macron on the other. As I say, on the sleeves, you should have a Macron sort of symbol, but that is um, starting to fade away. But the Toyota um, sponsor on the sleeve has stayed on there quite well. Um, that, I believe, is repeated on the other sleeves. So you've got it on both sleeves. And then you've got another sponsor which has started to sort of fade and wash away. In Bran Wash, um, Jo Kipper, which is um, obviously some sort of Dutch firm. But all in all, a very nice shirt. And um, the fifth Dutch shirt I've added to the collection. So really pleased to add another Dutch team into the collection. Um, as I say, it's a little bit worn on the front and on the sleeve. So it may be one that I do keep an eye out for um, a replacement in the future. But happy with, um, with that one for now. So, on to number two. And we're, well, of course we are. We're heading into Germany. Now, Germany, obviously everyone knows, is my um, largest collection of shirts. And I've added another one of the big boys. Well, I think they're big boys. They're, they're a historic club in Germany. Um, we've got an Eintracht Frankfurt shirt. Now, this is from the 14-15 season. Um, it's a home shirt. Um, you've got the Alfa Romeo sponsor on the front. The Eintracht Frankfurt Crest, the Nike, um, Nike swoosh, um, SGE on the back as a sponsor, but not a lot else on there in terms of sponsorship or symbols. But um, I really, this is a sort of um, age bracket. I was looking for an Eintracht Frankfurt shirt. I really wanted one with the Alfa Romeo um, sponsor on there. Obviously, I do like the ones with the old car sponsors on the front. And um, getting a Frankfurt shirt with the Alfa Romeo on the front was one I was trying to get. So, pleased with that. Um, and oh, oh, quite a nice shirt. I do like the red and black stripes on um, a lot of shirts that I do get. So, really pleased with that. The Eintracht Frankfurt shirt. So, on to shirt number three for me. So, um, again, we're staying in Germany. Um, but you might need your sunglasses on before you check this one out. It's a lovely hot pink number and you probably know the crest it is um hamburger sv or hamburg for those of us in the uk and it is this lovely 1617 away shirt obviously in the hot pink colors like i say got the hamburg crest on there it has got the um bundesliga 50 years patch on the sleeve uh, nothing on the sleeve uh, the rear of the shirt is completely plain as well and you've got the um I guess three stripes up the side. Um murder SV on the um on the collar. So anybody who knows um what that means, please let me know. Um but all in all, I think one of the nicest shirts I've picked up from Germany that a very nice pink and navy number. A little bit different for the collection there. 
And then that brings me swiftly on to the final shirt, um, which is from Turkey. And it is this absolutely fabulous Fenerbahce shirt. Um, and it's an Adidas shirt, so it's got the Adidas three stripes on the own colour. But what I do is like is the patterning down the stripes. So there's a little bit of pattern in the um, so the traditional navy and yellow striped shirt of Fenerbahce. But the um, the yellow stripe has got sort of like pin stripes down it with like little bits of hints of the navy bedded into them. A really fetching shirt. Now this is from the 1920 season. So um, really cool shirt. You've got the um, Avis um, car... Um, our rental sponsors on there um a little um sponsor on the sleeve probably a local turkish company can't really um pronounce it so i'm not going to try and then another sponsor on the rear of halley so all in all four pretty cool shirts to add to the collection um this month like i say it's a shame the other two that didn't arrive um but um i'm um I'm not too disappointed. Like I say, hopefully the Club Rouge does turn up because, um, as I say, it has been missing for a few few days. So um, hopefully it does arrive. But this Finnebashe one was quite cool. So, um, yeah, there it is, the, um, the four shirts for the month of May. So um, let me know in the comments, as I always say, what one you liked best. Um, Got to say, I think my favourite is the Hamburg, but um, that's just the colour. I like the colour of it. Um... But you let me know which one you think's the best. Um, and as I always say, um, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. I do appreciate every single one of you who does take the time to do so. Otherwise, that's it for today. I'm going to go file these shirts in the wardrobe. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.